I've gone further here, it's simple system trading video on the gamma band study. Uh, the gamma bands calculation has been introduced by Macro Hedged uh, from Adam and Hugh uh, some while ago. And uh, this is a uh, study that simplifies the calculation of these bands uh, by simply importing a comma separated values file. I will uh, dive into the details of this file where you can get the numbers and how to use the study. So you can see I've loaded uh, ES5 minute here with those bands and the bands they offer uh, some support and resistance areas uh, which can be used in, uh, in your trading. Um, these values are calculated in a specific way and uh, uh, MacroHatched has uh, some videos on them in one of their packages so if you're uh, interested you can check that out. There's probably some links on, on the internet or YouTube. Um, this study is uh, simplifying that all for you. All you need is to create a, a comma separated values file like this. It's uh, simply a text file. You can um, uh, create this in a notepad or in Excel even, but with Excel you have to make sure you save it as a CSV file. Uh, very important. Anyway, I use a no notepad here and uh, I have a header line here that uh, kind of tells me what to put in the next lines. It's not mandatory, but it can help you uh, maintaining this file. What you would basically start doing every day is uh, set the date and punch in these two numbers. The first is the IV number, implied volatility number for that product you are trading. And the second number is the SKU or the risk reversal number, which is uh, fairly easy to, to get and uh, you can use uh, that in this file. These files are then uh, read by the study and the gamma bands are plotted automatically on your chart. You can reload the data when needed and I will go into the study details in a bit. But to get those uh, IV and, uh, and SKU numbers, you will have to uh, do a few things. So let's have a look at where you can get those uh, numbers. The first uh, uh, option to check out is Quick Strike at CME. Uh, they have a tool called uh, the Quick Vault tool. Um, if you go to that website, you have the volatility strategy tools here and you can get started on Quickfall. Uh, it's uh, free to use on, on this site here. If you get a subscription, you probably get a bit more, but for these uh, simple numbers, it's uh, readily available here. Um, you uh, simply select the product you are trading. In this case, I'm uh, setting up an ES chart and you have your um, volatility number for this constant maturity uh, contract. And this blue line here is the number you need. So you check that for today, it's 19.14. Uh, it will change a bit throughout the day, but uh, you have um, a few data options here on previous days as well. So you can start to, for instance, at, uh, just before the start of the, of the of the trading day, you can get those numbers together, punch them in your uh, file and you're good to go. So this is IV data uh, numbers. Risk reversal is uh, here. Uh, you're still on that ES product. We are constant maturity here. Um, risk reversal on the 25 Delta. So you click that point and you have your other number uh, which will be uh, used uh, can be used in your um, let me check I have a file prepared here in your uh, other gamma band file here so for for these three days I just sampled the, the data and uh, punched in these lines um, this is uh, the data from quick strike right then there's also a bar chart website available. You can simply go to the futures tab here. Um, and uh, here we go. We select the yes contract. And then you go to volatility and Greeks here on the left. 
which will load up the uh, options on uh, this contract. This is um, just one expiration on, on this uh, contract. Um, with quick strike you have the constant maturity, but on this one you don't. Uh, so these numbers are a little bit different. But uh, in the end, they're, they're close enough. So you have implied volatility number here. And for the risk reversal, we just want to uh, check the side-by-side -side view here. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to show all. If it's let me. There we go. Show all. Go at the money here. Uh, what we need is um, the 25 delta uh, calls IV with uh, 25 delta put IV. So the delta is here, and we're looking for the 25. So that's right here. The IV 15.23, right? That's the IV number of the um, the calls, and we want to use that number and subtract the 25 delta puts so that's right here 21.59 so we subtract the two and uh, what we basically get is the skew of minus 6.36 and that's the data we can use in the csv file and if you then plot them, we, uh, we see two of these uh, together um, right here. And the difference is, uh, is there, but it's, it's not significant depending on your risk here. But uh, it's pretty close. And uh, they can uh, be used in your uh, strategies, support and resistance. They're based on VWAP, particular calculation and um, the study settings are, are pretty straightforward. Um, you can manually reload data. Once you make changes to the data file, you can reload them with this option. There's a calculation period. Depending on um, your preference, you can select 256 days or 365 days on the calculation. Uh, there is an option for uh, which file you want to load, either a hosted file if someone hosts the file on their web server, you can use a direct link to download that file and use it, uh, or you use a uh, local file like, like I did here. That local text file will be used uh, and read by the study. If your first line is a header line, uh, you set this to yes. If not, you set this to no. The date uh, source column, in this case column number one, and the format of the date, the IV source column and the SKU source column, uh, the risk reversal source column. Um, that's a, a number, and then uh, that will be all you need to set. There's uh, factors for the top and the bottom bands if you want to use them. These defaults, uh, they work quite well. Uh, the last option is a automatic update uh, of the file, uh, reading the file. So if you make changes in the background, uh, these get Reread by the study after this um, six hour interval in this case. So you can set a number of hours interval to reread the CSV file. So that's basically what the study does. Um, hope you like it. You can try out this study, uh, check out the link, and uh, let me know if you like it. Thanks for your attention. Have a good one. Bye bye.